Hiya guys, got a treat for you here today. Now this game was my personal favourite game that was on show at Res 2012. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Res 2012, make sure you check my channel. There is a few Gonzo video diaries I've put up there of me at Res 2012 down in Brighton, which was an absolutely brilliant um, indie game expo. Had loads of brilliant indie games on show called the Left Field Collection. Also had a few AAA titles on show as well, such as uh, Borderlands 2 and Aliens, Colonial Marines and Far Cry 3, etc. But anyways, back to this. Like I say, this is a brilliant game by a guy called Tom Francis, and this is Gunpoint. Now, I could bore you and make you sit here and look at the title screen for longer while I try to explain what kind of game it is. But instead, why don't we just jump straight in and find out what it's all about. As you can see at the top here, this is an early build of Gunpoint. It has no plot, it's missing a bunch of levels, and you get more money so you can unlock gadgets quicker. But it gives you a basic idea of what it's like to play through and what kind of game it is. Obviously make sure you stop by at gunpointgame.com and tell them what you think. Um, hopefully should be available to purchase very soon. But uh, we've got one mission available. Let's accept and dive straight in. Straight off, absolutely beautiful graphics. It's got like a quite of a quite a film noir type of feel to it straight away, which I absolutely love. Using A and D to move, hold down the left mouse button to aim and jump. It takes a moment to charge. Oh yeah, you can see that working. Look, hold it in a little bit. Don't jump as high, but it's quicker. Charge it up. Easily done. Got a building here. I like it. Climb up and down buildings onto the roof. Oh, well, I hope this doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's brilliant. That felt absolutely great. I want to listen to that. Those sound effects are so so good I'm instantly impressed by everything straight away feels uh, really easy to control everything's very intuitive you just pressing W to interact with stuff behind you getting in there out of the lift is uh, easily done I like how you can see the lift going up and down in the background as well Oh, look at that. You see the screen go red when I was hacking the computer. I like it. Now, I think... Yep. If that goes white, like it is now, that should be enough strength to dive out the window. <laughs> that's great. Oh, well, that's the very first level, and I'm instantly impressed already. I'm loving it. As you can see, uh, that was quite quickly done. Only made a little bit of noise, no witnesses, no violence. And the client says I did it perfectly. That's what I like to hear. What's this? One upgrade. I can increase speed and distance, or I can make it charge up quicker. Let's go for that. One mission available. But oh, this time there's a guard. I'm going to deal with the guard. See what we can do. Guards will shoot on sight, the cursor turns red in areas guards can see. Oh yeah, look, in front of his face it's gone red. Clever. So you can, oh, he's got quite a view distance as well. Jump on a guard to pin him to the ground. <laughs> that feels awesome. It only takes one punch to knock them out. I know, but it's so fun. I want to keep doing it. But what you're doing is fine too. That's probably okay. I hope it is, because it feels brilliant. Such a simple little action. Okay, seriously, you can stop now. I want to keep going though. Anything else happen? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that'll do. That's so fun. Let's head downstairs anyways. hand scanner only the guards can use to open the door I guess. He can't see us. 
there's a light switch here but I think if I use that light switch it's going to turn off all these lights and he's going to come out and turn it back on so I'm going to quickly hit the lights and then jump up to that wall that's work dive on the back of him if I can't nice nicely done hack that PC in the dark head to the subway Something, something so simple as punching a guard, but yet it feels absolutely brilliant. Been rewarded with a bit more money. Another upgrade. Let's upgrade that one this time. One more mission. We need the crosslink device. I think that's in the shop. There we go. I, with this, I can rewire electronic devices. So we'll buy that. And we'll see what this mission's all about. Switch the quantum mode with the mouse wheel. There you are. Drag a connection from the light switch to the door. Then use the light switch to open the door. Alright, so basically you're rewiring circuitry with this magical, well, hacking tool basically. Awesome. So I think, is that an extra laptop to hack? Yep. Might as well get the extra credit. And then turning the light switch and open that door. Lovely. That worked well. Head back downstairs. Now we could dive through that window at the end. But we'll do it quietly. I don't know how much difference it'll make. <laughs> I love falling on your face. Extra five dollars. Why not? Another upgrade. Power sockets can be used to knock people out. Sounds good. Let's see what we can do here. Well, there's a wall in the way so that guard can't see us. I've got my crosslink tool, so what can I do? I just... Actually, I can leave that there, can't I? If I activate the lights and then go to crosslink... And then I should be able to move the light switch across to that and then buzz the guard. Let's give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was great. Oh shit. Is that everything? I think it is. Oh, using that plug socket to give him an electric shock was awesome. I'm pretty sure there's a lot, lot more little things like that in the game coming up as well. I've played a few of the earlier um, alpha test versions and I've always been impressed by what I've seen. Been aching to be able to do a YouTube video on it. I think this game is going to be massive once it hits the stores. You might notice you've been getting upgrade points. I think I'm slightly ahead of you there. You need to access all the terminals. Nothing new. Just have fun. Well, that's a given. Oh, this one looks a lot harder. One, two, four guards. I think I can only get in that way at the minute. Looks like I should be able to dive out onto him knock them out but what can I do with this guy on this level let's make his light switch open the door and I'm gonna turn off the light and then make the light switch work on that plug Come far enough across, but he's on the patrol now. Is he gonna come all the way back? <laughs> yes, he is. And he's down. Lovely little electric shock there. 
Right. I'm going to use that now to close that door. And I'm going to do a nice little trick here. I'm going to make the inside activate the outside. The door's closed. Now if I do it again, I'm going to turn off the light. In fact, I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm not going to do that yet. Actually, yes. Let's do it now. Now, he should. Will he open the door? Oh, that guy turned the light back on, didn't he? I don't think he's going to leave his office now. So that didn't work. Let's revise that plan. That should do it. Still not coming out, is he? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Did you see that? I used the inside panel to trigger the outside panel, so the door thought there was somebody in the outside, and the door opened inwards. So this guard ended up opening the door on himself and knocked himself out. Now we'll use that to open that. No, we can't do that. Yeah, actually we can't. It's a bit obfuscated, but it worked. Call the lift up. Only want to go down one level. Hack this terminal. Right, now we need to formulate a plan to get rid of this guy down here. Let's close the door. Let's try the same trick again. So he's opened that door outside for us. No. That'll do me though. Yep, that's all the terminals hacked. Looks like there's another laptop here. Done. Lovely. So, not everything went to plan. In fact, I don't think anything went to plan on that level. But, we managed to sort the tactics out on the fly. And come out victorious. The client still thinks I did perfectly. I was silent and thoughtful. But... That's just a nice way of saying that took a long time, isn't it? Bastard. <laughs> Never mind. Spend another upgrade point. See what missions are available now. In this thrillingly different mission, your main objective is still to hack, hack a desktop PC. But for fascinating plot reasons, the client is also interested in any confidential data you might find lying around on laptops. Requires a wire jack. Just got enough cash, thankfully. Let's have a look. Right. So that door's red, that door's red. This camera activates that alarm. So why don't we make that activate the door? Lovely. Now we're inside. Get the green circuit box and use it. You'll be able to rewire things on the green circuit. Devices on different coloured circuits can't be linked to each other. Right. Oh yeah, look, so now the green ones are available. Lovely. So let's turn the light switch on to that. Oh. 
Oh, that's blue. I think that's a blue circuit box there, so we'll go and do that first. I love that red screen on the PC when you're hacking it. It's all the details. That's what it is. The details and the art in the background, the details and the art in the buildings, the little touches to things when you interact with them. It's it's great. I absolutely love it. Anyways, can we just turn that off, can we? Yep. Great. Job done. Let's get out.